Convenience and quality, the cornerstones of any great all-in-one music system. And with the Ruark R3S aiming to strike the perfect balance between the two, does it deliver? Let's find out. Hey guys, Louis here from Smart Home Sounds, and that's right. If you've been around the audio world for a while now, then you'll probably remember this. Now this is the Bose Wave music system. And as far as all-in-one audio systems go, this was a bit of a game changer back in the day. Combining AM, FM radio, CD, and MP3 functionality into a single compact package, this stereo CD player was a perfect all-in-one solution, until it wasn't. With CD sales dwindling and interest at an all-time low, Bose made the tough call to discontinue it back in 2017, but good decision, right? Well, fast forward to today and traditional formats like vinyl and CD are making a real comeback. Plus, with a growing appetite for audio systems that combine retro charm with modern streaming, there's a gap for someone to pick up the pieces here. Now, don't get me wrong, the Bose Wave was an absolute classic, and with that, there's some pretty big boots to fill. But with no obvious replacement from Bose themselves, what's the best alternative on the market in 2024? Well, the Ruark R3S is hoping to be the answer to that question. Fans of Ruark will know they have a great track record when it comes to all-in-one music systems. Released in 2023, the R3S isn't necessarily new tech compared to models like Ruark's R410 and R810, but it's a refined version of the award-winning R3 that builds on the same successful formula. Coming in at £649, the R3S boasts a stunning design and a wide range of playback options, including smart radio with internet, DAB, DAB+, and FM functionality, a new podcast source, and a comprehensive set of streaming options via either Bluetooth or Wi-Fi with support for Spotify Connect, Deezer, and Amazon Music. Now, the only downside is that it lacks a few features found in other Ruark models like uh, Google Cast, AirPlay, Tidal Connect, and AppDeck support. Now, whether that's a deal breaker depends on your setup, but most people will find the connectivity options here more than enough. The real kicker for me, though, is Along with a long list of hardwired connections, and more on that later, the R3S has something that its newer siblings don't, a built-in CD drive. And given that resurgence of interest in physical collections, I know that that will tick a key box for a lot of you guys out there. And the versatility is what a lot of us loved about the Wave. And the R3S definitely delivers in this department too. The original R3 and the slightly bigger R5 were both successful products and both had a CD drive. So while Ruark's newer 100 series models boast maybe a more refined design and enhanced performance, there's clearly a gap in their lineup for a CD equipped model. Now whether that's enough to truly succeed the Wave though is, well, what we're here to find out. Now, I know you're eager to hear how this one sounds, but before we delve into the sound performance, let's take a look at its design. Because after all, part of the reason that you go for an all-in-one system like this is because of the way it can blend easily into your home, right? Well, sticking true to Ruark's design philosophy, the R3S blends all of the brand's classic design cues with some modern touches to create a refined look that I really enjoy. Available in either soft gray lacquer or walnut, the R3S is a compact unit that outwardly hasn't changed all that much from the original. It's got a really nice handcrafted wooden cabinet and then this premium fabric grille that neatly covers the front. We've then got this high contrast auto dimming OLED display and of course, the CD drive underneath. The metal cantilevered legs on the base help raise the unit and the iconic rotodial controller on top returns to complete the look, providing nice and easy operation that also helps to tie the overall aesthetic together. Now, there is also a remote included in the box with this one too, but unlike the systems from the 100 series, this one doesn't actually follow the design of the rotodial. Instead, it's just a classic IR remote control finished in this brushed aluminium colorway. Now, it's definitely not as premium as the others that I've seen from Ruark. It's a little bit plasticky, but it does the job nonetheless. Now, of course, as always with design, it's not gonna be right for everybody. And it's not quite as modern as the R410 or R810, but I still think it offers a stylish design with a very good build quality. For me, connectivity is where the R3S really shines though. It can do a little bit of everything. So you've got all the latest wireless options that I've already mentioned, but if I flip this one around for you guys, you'll also see that this system is incredibly well stocked when it comes to physical connections too. You've got your aerial post for your FM and DAB radio reception, a 3.5 mil headphone jack, a digital optical input to connect to your TV, 
analog and digital inputs for easy connection to devices like turntables, a USB-C port for your digital files, and then your power supply down here too. It's also worth noting that the line output is actually dual purpose. So it can be used as either a subwoofer output or a line output to connect to an external amplifier or active speaker, if that's something that you're looking to do. Setting this one up is super easy though. Plug it in, connect the aerial, and follow the on-screen setup wizard, and you'll be up and listening in five minutes, give or take. Now, obviously, if you're adding things like a turntable, it will take a little bit longer, but overall, this is pretty much as simple as it gets. Perfect for those of you who want a decent sound system without any real hassle. Now, for those of you who prefer more of a hands-off approach, the R3S does offer control through the Octave app. Developed by Frontier Silicon, who are the same people who made the smart chip in the R3S, Octave is basically here to replace the Undock app, which for those of you that don't know, is what's used on a couple of older Ruark models, including the original R3. Octave is noticeably quicker and more responsive as a UI, and it's got a really familiar feeling interface that's nice and intuitive to use. Beyond the basic controls, it unlocks the full potential of the R3S, allowing you to manage smart features, create personalized presets, uh, set alarms, sleep timers, and navigate your music sources, depending on where you're getting your music from. Now you can also adjust the playback using the bass and treble sliders in the app too, but on the whole, the sound customization options are pretty limited. Now for those looking to use this as predominantly a radio, then that's not gonna be a major issue. But if you're like me and lean slightly more towards dedicated music listening via streaming or CDs, then it is a shame that you haven't got as much flexibility in the sound profile. Other than that though, it's an improvement on what came before and it does the job. It's just not the best interface that I've ever used. Right then, on to sound, and when it comes to internals, the R3S is a step up from its predecessor. So while we've got the same dual NS Plus neodymium full range drivers and a 30 watt class AB amplifier system, the new S version offers a more powerful internal processor and some revised internal circuitry that should in theory make for an improved sound performance overall. Now this newer model also steps up to what Ruark call their Stereo Plus system, which according to the marketing, promises a wider and deeper sound that makes everything sound much more spacious and lifelike. As we're all aware by now, specs are only half the story. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick little taster of how this one sounds. Now, like always though, remember that what you're hearing over YouTube won't exactly be what I'm hearing right here in the studio, but it should give you a pretty good idea of what you can expect from this sort of product. Right, hopefully you all enjoyed that one. I think for me, if we go back to that comparison to the Bose Wave quickly, the biggest thing that sets this one apart is its sound signature. Now, this video was never gonna have a dedicated comparison. I mean, in nearly a decade, I'd expect this one to have improved considerably. But if we're talking about more of the nuances of sound, you can definitely feel a warmer, slightly more hi-fi-esque sound from the R3S. Now I've reviewed a couple of Ruark products in the past and they all follow a similar blueprint in the sense that they do a really good job at presenting sound as uh, warm, balanced and complete with an impressive richness that's a joy to listen to across all genres. So it's good to see that the R3S follows that tradition nicely. The big standout for me though was the vocals. They're rich, detailed and natural sounding and this translates across both music, radio and TV too, which is a really nice little bonus. I was also really, really surprised by the soundstage. Now I know that Ruark have done a lot with that Stereo Plus system to improve things over its predecessor, but considering the size of the actual unit and the fact that there's no internal trickery going on with things like side firing drivers, 
The R3S really impressed me. As soon as I turned it on, I was surprised by how spacious it sounded for such a small unit. It was way better than I expected and the stereo separation was really noticeable. Now I know a lot of you guys like to listen loud and when it comes to high volume listening, this speaker did a great job at matching the detail shown at more ambient listening levels and I didn't really experience any distortion either. In terms of low end, the bass response was solid with deep, well-defined lows and the sub bass was really nice too. Now if I'm properly nitpicking, I did have to pump the volume up to really get the prominent bass performance that I like to listen to, so I wouldn't say it's the most bass heavy system out there, especially at lower volumes, but the bass quality only improves as you increase the volume. That being said, I've listened to a lot of all-in-ones and some have a tendency to clip at higher volume, so it's nice to know that this one doesn't. Admitted it did lose its way a little with some more complex tracks like uh, Show Me Love on Pete Tong's Chill Classics album, but if we're taking into account the price and the actual use case of this one, then I'd have it down as a 9 out of 10 in my book for sure in the sound department. Plus, with that sub out, you can always add an RS1 if you'd like to, which could be something to really consider. But what are my final thoughts then? Well, to be honest with you all, I think first of all, you've got to admire all the things that this one gets right. For me, the R3S offers a really compelling combination of ease of use, versatility, style, and impressive audio quality, all at an attractive price. Now, while it won't be right for everyone and it's not the absolute pinnacle of technology, that's not what this one's about. It delivers a satisfying listening experience that surpasses a lot of competitors in this price bracket, not to mention the added versatility. Yes, the lack of AirPlay, Tidal Connect, or Google Cast might be a deal breaker for some of you guys, and yes, you might be able to find a micro system of separates that sound better for the same money. But if you're strictly after a one box solution with a CD player, radio capabilities, and some streaming smarts, then I think you're gonna be hard pressed to find something that ticks as many boxes. Now, whether you agree is a different question, but all I can say for certain is that this is a great alternative that sits in a similar sort of sweet spot to the Wave. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Please let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see all of you guys in the next video.